Welcome to another video on spiritual warfare. I like doing this almost daily, so hang in there with me. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think so far. I think this is our third video on spiritual warfare. We're gonna continually make these videos on certain scriptures that I wanna bring to your attention to where it enhances your spirituality in regards to spiritual warfare. We're right here on 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, a letter from Paul to the Thessalonians. And uh, once you come down here, it says, it, it starts by saying, finally, brethren, pray for us. So he's speaking to believers right here, right? Finally, brethren, pray for us. And right off the bat right there, and we can ask other believers to pray for us. Okay, it, it does. The word says that a... Prayer from a righteous or a righteous man or woman avails much, avails much. And what makes you righteous? According to the power that is in you, by grace through faith, the faith that you have. You got to grow in faith in order for you to have a powerful uh, prayer, okay, a, a powerful prayer life. Grow your faith. How do you grow in faith? By hearing and reading the word of God, getting understanding. And all you're getting, get understanding. So right here, Paul is asking them to pray for him, to pray for them. That the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. There you have it. Look at, look at how much emphasis Paul puts into the word of God. The word of God is living and powerful, right? The word says. And uh, it... it changes lives it you can be saved by just hearing the word of god the word of god says that if you believe with your heart that jesus died on the cross for your sins was buried and resurrected the third day ascended into heaven into the right hand of the father you shall be saved because he did die for you and me for all of us for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him may not perish but have everlasting life so right here, Paul says, the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. That's awesome. He's giving them, he, he's giving them kudos, right? He's giving them kudos just as it is with you. Anybody speaking the word of God swiftly, smoothly, with authority, that means a lot. That I rejoice when I hear that. When I hear somebody not only speaking the word of God, but also you seeing the fruit of that person, right? Just because you don't see fruit doesn't mean somebody is saved. Only God knows when somebody has believed with all their heart, mind, and soul. And if somebody can say, Lord, Lord, or Jesus this, Jesus that, God this, God that. But if they've never believed in their heart the gospel, they're not saved. And uh, a lot of times the devil will deceive you in making you think that you are saved. You, you, you're making your own God. Your own, you have your own understanding. And why? Because you don't come and seek the Word of God. The Word of God is what He has given to us that we may not be deceived in that way, right? So, as just as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. Not all have faith. Okay, so... Like I said, there's some people that uh, make it seem like they are men and women of God. So they start practicing sin and you're like, wait a minute here. Okay, if they're, they're Christian, they're men and women of God, I guess it's all right. You have to seek the scriptures yourself or make sure that you are part of some kind of fellowship or Bible believing uh, brothers and sisters organization or church, something that goes based on the scriptures not on their own understanding not according to what the world says or this and that no there's no change god does not change he says god is the same yesterday today and tomorrow uh, i was watching a video earlier on a muslim that is now saved through the lord jesus christ he believed in the gospel so he is not christian he is born again based on what I've seen through his fruit. And um, and he approached some Jehovah Witnesses and he's over there trying to persuade them, you know, and, and he tries to show them the truth and they just do not believe. So they're unreasonable. They're un unreasonable and wicked 
because they are minimizing Jesus. They they actually the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that uh, I think Michael, the archangel, was Jesus. They think Jesus was an angel. You know, so that's minimizing Jesus. Jesus is the Lord, God in the flesh. You can't minimize that. If you minimize that, there's no salvation for you. There's no forgiveness of sins for you if you minimize that. So, unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. Not all have faith. What is faith? Faith is having faith in God's commandments, God's word. Right? Your belief ignites your faith. So just because you have faith doesn't mean you don't have works. If you don't have works, where's your faith? <laughs> right there in James, right? So the word of God is, is beautiful. It's complete. It is perfect. It comes together. So now this is the main verse that I wanted to bring you in, in in regards to spiritual warfare right that's why I like making these videos because we are in a war spiritually the the once somebody is saved the enemy now wants to hinder you hinder your faith stop you from growing so on and so on so we must prevent that and that's why God has given us gifts so that we may use that gift to edify the body of Christ, to edify that person that may be getting hindered by the enemy. So right here on three, it says, but the Lord is faithful who will, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Yes, Jesus will do that. He will guard you and he will establish you. He will guard you from the enemy, right? Right there, uh, I'm not sure what scripture it is, but is it, I think it's in Philipp Philippians. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, making your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. So again, but the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Submit yourself unto the Lord, and the enemy will flee, the Lord says to us. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do and will do the things we command you. Yes, and we can do that. Because if I'm following the word of God, if I'm keeping his word, loving his word, being a doer, not just a hearer only, I can let somebody know, and not a hypocrite, I can let somebody know, just um, do what I do. Do what I do, right? Mimic me. Because Paul says that. He says, mimic me. For I am in the Lord. You know? So, both that you do and will do the things we command you. So, uh, be equipped. Be thoroughly equipped. Ready for whatever comes your way. Because in this world, we will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. The Lord Jesus Christ has overcome the world for us. You can do all things through Him who will strengthen you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And all these things will work together for good to those that love God, to those that are the called, according to God's purpose. If you like these videos, hit the like button. Don't forget, uh, share this video with somebody you want to bless. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one. God bless you.